Two men are dead after a chain reaction crash in Aurora last night. While we report on many pedestrian crashes, this one is particularly tragic as one man was hit while trying to help the first victim. Marissa Armas live in Aurora tonight where this all happened. Marissa. Kelly, I'm here in front of Children's Hospital, close to where this accident happened. And if you take a look back here, you can see that there actually aren't many street lights in this area. Now, while this entire incident is still being investigated, it does raise a lot of questions on auto and pedestrian safety. Saturday morning brought a different scene near the intersection of East Colfax Avenue and North Uvalda Street. Well, it's always hard to go to a, a crash with a pedestrian in a vehicle because pedestrian will always be on the losing end. Friday night, two men were killed by different vehicles. Police say the first man was crossing the street, not using a crosswalk, when he was struck by a driver. The driver who struck him then stopped to get out of his car and help, but that's when a different car hit him. It's hard to go to these crash scenes and deal with what we see on, unfortunately, a somewhat regular basis. Right now, police don't believe speed or alcohol were factors in the accidents. But who's responsible when it comes to auto pedestrian safety? Well, Colorado State Patrol Sergeant Troy Kessler says there are multiple contributors from laws to the lack of street lights, but a lot of it is also dependent on the driver and the pedestrian. Use the infrastructure that is designed for pedestrians sidewalks, crosswalks, and, you know, state patrol, we talk about distracted driving. We talk about not driving impaired. There's factors like that that will play into whether you actually see the pedestrian or not. Kessler says auto pedestrian accidents are becoming more common, and we may begin to see even more with warmer temperatures coming in. There's just going to be more pedestrians walking around. Put those cell phones down, pay attention, and, you know, avoid, you know, being in a, in a situation like this. And the Aurora Police Department is asking anyone who may have witnessed this crash or who may have dash cam video of the incident to contact them with that information. The names of the two men who were killed have not been released yet. In Aurora, Marissa Armas covering Colorado First.